Welcome back to another truck of Tim video where we are now farming. We're farming. All right, we're a farmer. I think there's a lot more to farming than we're just uh, taking some tatty boxes off a trailer. All stuff that is well needed. I'm not feeling too safe being here. It's moving in, Dave. Moving in, Dave. All this stuff is needed for the four series. So we have to bring it. This is all four series stuff. All of it. If I get a quiet note, I can just crack on a bit with the four series. Look at him go. He's better on that thing than I thought he was gonna be. And to answer everyone's question about this, that doesn't belong to us. That has just been stored here and that is getting moved out. And boom. And that hasn't took up much space at all, has it? If we packed them a bit better, we could have just stacked them up high anyway, couldn't we? Yeah, and there's probably 29 tonnes of wheat in there. Wheat is going Monday. Monday. I'm gonna go back and get some more bits. We're gonna move some trucks in here today. And the truck sim and the four series cab. That is gonna be sketchy transporting that, let me tell you. You'll be all right. So silver Volvo is coming today, which we can ram over there for now, but move it. God, that looks awful now. I don't really want my name against it. This car will come down to look for, uh, look for bits. That's right. Once he's got his bits off, it's available for scrap. So that's all it's good for. Careful. So aggressive. Because it's like pinches itself, so you have to put the back end up, which releases it. But it's still a bit of a pain, so. Back to the old HQ. There's plenty of room in here now, Ben. Nice little setup. Nice little setup for someone here. Maybe a budding YouTuber. So, <coughs> oh, watch the cab. Everybody in the comments loves how Ed says help. Yes. <laughs> ben, look! Help! She so don't like that. We'll just steady Are you it. Happy? <laughs> just pivoting around on Just get ready to slam her down. The 144 cab is going out into the daylight again. We've got that one to come back for and the silver Volvo. So we'll put the silver Volvo and that one on together. We'll get some of these bits on the neck. Notes. I need the notes. <laughs> <Just> notes. <laughs> Take your notes. Nice and steady. Oh. We have the Volvo FHV8 loaded up, the blue four series cab, the gearbox, some truck parts, and two fifth wheels. Very diverse load. A very diverse load. There's a little bit of everything on there, isn't there? A little bit of emotion as well. You need to follow me. I'd rather you follow me. I want nothing to do with that. Oh. Yeah. It's fine. The V8 FH says goodbye to the old unit. A little tone there. Bow of the head. We made it! Everything is still where we left it. The first piece coming off. Watch this. Oh no, don't. We can't have that, Ben. We can't have that. We've had it. Did you hear it? Yeah. What? It's gone. Oh. That's an issue. We need to learn the way out of this lot. I think you put a self tapping screw or something in it. Oh, <laughs> hmm. oh. no, Ben! No! <sighs> oh. Oh. <laughs> we have to take the battery off my truck, don't we? We have to. We've got the 
12 volt battery at the JCB. There's a lot going on here, Ben. <laughs> the first one is here. Welcome. The VAFH is coming into its new home. I'm in my house, watching television, got the back door open, because it's really warm, we're all up in here. Look at that. The locals now know we've arrived. Very noisy. What's that noise? The pump. Oh. Might explode. <laughs> first aid kit. <laughs> first aid kit? There's a decoder, there's you a get dragged out there if anything happens. What if you hurt yourself? <laughs> we don't worry about that. Looks a bit lost in here, doesn't it? Steve, yeah. I think you need some mouse traps. That's a rat trap. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Ben's now on Amazon buying mouse traps. First impressions? Mm. You know, so I'll let you do this one. Yeah, I'll do. <laughs> Down. Slowly. There you go. There you go. Ben. Ben. Get ready to go down. Just glad I didn't park my car there. I don't like it, it doesn't look very stable. No, it's not. Oh, well done. Health and safety executive's not happy. Oh, we've done a risk assessment though. We've done a risk assessment. Yeah. Are you happy if I hold it? Is that better? Ben? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it down there for now. I think just get it off the tines, I think. The blue 4 Series cab is at the new HQ. Thank you, Health and Safety. Did we pass? No. <laughs> oh, we didn't pass our Health and Safety. You're shutting me down? I'm not in yet. Bye. These two pallets off, and then we go back to the other truck and the engine. We're back at HQ. Oh, the lorry's just up there. Old HQ, yes. Blow this old girl up. Rear suspension didn't work now because took the brain out for the FHV8, which is at the new place. We have things at the new place. So we're hoping, well, it's going to be right at the front, obviously. Definitely. But it's going to be the back. And then that cab, the engine. Let's go. How do you? Look at all this space we've got now. Loads of room now. Got a bit of tidying up to do, haven't we? So all this stuff can just go in the Ranger. Might get a van and just load it all up one trip. Oof. That can go in the bin because that's broken. Used it for moving an axle once. Ah! End of an era. Moving out. So on this load, we've now got the 164 engine up on the neck. The truck sim and the silver Volvo. There's Ed. This was Ed's last load. We've got the stacks on and the metal. Thank you, Matthew. You're welcome. Thank you, Ed. It's been a pleasure. It has. It's the last time she'll be used. She's done some hard graft, hasn't she? She has. She's not shouting for help. No. Please come and visit. Will do. Bye, Ed. Off it goes. Bye, Ed. Next load to the new HQ. Second load is here. You good? All oh, the headlights fell out. <laughs> Silver F8 is 
is in the unit. Welcome. Even though your time is up on the channel, you are here. Truck sim is off. I'll walk the truck sim in. Oh my God, it's proper wobbling. In you come. One engine. We are basically moved in. And if I just point my camera this way, you wouldn't know we're moved in. Look. Oh no, you wouldn't know. We are moved in. That's there. there you go. Over the grain. Truck sim, restoration cab, Volvo scrab. <clears throat> Engine, exhaust, gearbox, metals, truck parts, and more truck parts. Miscellaneous. We're in, we've got two benches, our tools, and just a few other little. Just tools, and really. She's in. Yeah, it's very dark. We need to brighten it up a little bit. I've noticed on this floor, you can see her back links. <laughs> yeah. It really does. Maybe we should put something under there. Emergency spill response, response kit. <laughs> you rejoin me at a very empty old Trucker Tim HQ. We've only got a few bits left to go over now, which we'll do in vans. Just the other side of the roller shutter, we've got my trailer because it needs a wash. Look at the state of it. What are you doing out there? First time washing the trailer, Dan. It is, mate. Give her, it's yeah, I know, I know. We've not done that yet. We've been doing. Well, been busy moving, actually, Dan. Believe it or not. Yeah, it's not exactly like you were. Oh, look at the state of it, Dan. In the next video, I'm doing a load with Sean. Sean's got a load on that we've got to go and do. Yeah, me and Sean are off out again. So I thought I'd better make the trailer look nice because later in the video i'm dropping off the s series to have cameras fitted because i've got a load to do out of london and i need my cameras oh uh, well, yeah let's let's not have that issue no, again. again cost me 500 quid 500 <coughs> mm -hmm. and that is not a joke a nice picture to prove it right emissions this time add blue euro six but i'm gonna go into london get a crane out of london or something a crane yeah so I've got to do that, so I need cameras fitting, so I'm taking it to Ant. Swapping this for the R-Series, right. and then me and Sean taking the R-Series to do a load, and we're taking this trailer. So I thought I'd get it cleaned as it's going on to the R-Series. You would have seen on the Life of Tim channel, I have a new vehicle, new little runaround. She's just here, look. <whistles> Nissan Skyline R35 GTR, link in the description to that video, collecting that. What do you think to the new car, Dan? Took for a little ride, huh? I'm not jealous at all. No. I think he is. Do you do trailers? Well, I not can, really. Can do trailers. I don't right? like doing trailers. That wrecker I did today was quite nice. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, yeah, another job from me there. I mean, another job. The only job from you. I think you've had three jobs out of me, actually. Have I? Rouse. No. Yeah, I can. Yes. Looking forward to seeing the trailer in a nice state again. It's been a while. I've only washed it once since I've had it. Have you? Yeah. Trailers don't get washed, though, do they? No, they don't, do they, Dan? No. Be safe. Be seen. Look at that. You know, it's like, like a bog brush. brush. The perfect size for wheels, isn't it? Isn't it? And it gets right Come in there. Then. I'll do something for a change. Look at that. That's like spot that, on. You? Have you got different sizes for different size wheels? No, it just comes in one size. Oh, I thought this was a trailer wheel one. One size fits all, mate. Is that you not keep right? telling yourself that. <laughs> They're really good. They're, they're really good. Huh? They're really good. They're really good. They're they? really oh, good. Mate, you're on form today. Scrub the deck. Look at you. You could work on a boat. Look at him go. A crane. That is coming in an upcoming video. Got to go in at night time into London because I've got a load of bus lane. So that'll be good content. What? Hello. what are you doing? Hello. Hello. Jesus, you're like a troll. Oh. You right there? I'm perfect, mate. I thought you'd come here to do this and I was paying you to do this. Sorry, you employ me. Um, would I... I far too much money recently and I need a second job. Would I employ you? Yes, I need a second job. Oh. 
Backsplash. Splash back. Not black splash. What? Black what? Splash <laughs> back. Not backsplash. No. Is it splash back <laughs> or backsplash? Get in the comments, let us know. See what, what's commented the most. Backsplash or splash back. Well, thanks for that. You're welcome, mate. It's only going to get dirty again, but can okay. you take it back to the Rutherford's yard for me, please? No. But I'll turn it round because I don't want you down there messing around. God knows what He happened. thinks that I can't drive a truck. It's a nice trailer as well. It's a shame that he's battered it, but you know. Come on, Tim, they want to go home. I'm now following the S-Series and my trailer in my brand new GTR. What is going on? If you want to see the collection video of the GTR, it's on the Life of Tim channel. There's a link in the description. Look at them indicators. Proper. Woo, this thing is crazy. I'll get you back to your things van. I, things I do for him, I tell you. You look after me, I'll look after you. Gentle 60. Yeah, I do like it. Yeah. Jesus. Thanks for that, Dan. You're welcome. Always a pleasure, never a chore. I've got to pay you now, and I think it's double for a train. No, you can even dry it. It's raining. So we just took Dan back to his van in the GTR. We're now back in the S series because I've got to take it over to Sean's. Engine management lights back on. Now, what's wrong with it? I'm back in the shed awaiting assistance. All right, drive. Oh, not you again. This lorry is nothing but trouble. Mate, you can't have anything out of there. You're getting enough from my Volvo. Underneath, look, look, it's solid. You get under there. See? You'll have that, won't you? Come on in, Kyle. Oh, More than welcome, Kyle. <laughs> You're doing all right out of this truck. I love this look. truck. <laughs> I don't know, I've got an engine malfunction. It right. says to contact workshop. That is you. You right. are the workshop. Bef look, 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 look. Before we plug it in, you're gonna tell me what's I'm gonna wrong. diagnose it. Upstream or downstream knock sensor or particular filter differential pressure sensor. Let's see what we've, we've had that already. We you don't haven't had a pressure sensor, you've yeah. had a regen. All you had was a regen, Timothy. It's been alright. And now just went to it today, washed the trailer ready to Thursday. Are you still coming? Yeah. Good lad. Incoming video. We'll take the R, because this is having cameras feared. Oh, God. Differential pressure sensor. What's that then? Differential pressure sensor. Mm, little pressure sensor on the exhaust, mate. I'll order you one up. I'll ring Jess at Truck East and get you one. It's right, they're only about 300 quid. Oh, good. Excellent. God, so I'll just get rid of the exhaust now it's straight through. That'll sort, do, that'll sort it. DBSA. I think your mate Leon <laughs> won't be very happy. That, that will sort that, my mate Leon. It's going to be maiming or not. <laughs> I don't know, don't care really. Oh, Leon. <laughs> God. We haven't used his full name. No, we haven't. I'm oh. not an operator, am I really? No. I'm a YouTuber. Yeah. But it must be so hard work. You've got faults oh, yeah. all the time, you're trying to run a business. And this is what the government thought was a good idea. We need low emission vehicles to save the planet, but we'll make all the operators bankrupt in the meanwhile so they can't earn the money but then and then you're... we'll rub it all off them again. <laughs> You're not moaning because you oh, get to fix them. Oh, that's good for me. I love Euro 6, yeah. It's done me the world. He can't wait for Euro 7. No. So you rejoin me the following day. My lorry is now fixed. No more lights on the dash. The differential pressure sensor thing has been changed on the exhaust. We're good to go again. But I've got this to show you. So Transtech have given me this. It's been dipped, I do believe, like a wood effect. It goes on here. So what I think Transec are going to do, if you take your one out like this, it just pulls out like that, unplugs here. You're going to give them your old one, plain boring plastic one, and they're going to have lots of different styles to choose from, and you can replace yours, boring one, with a nice dipped one. Transtech are giving me this one. We'll ask Richie when we get there, because that's where we've got to go now. We've got to take this over to Transtech, where Ant at Trucking Sounds is going to fit my cameras, because we're going into London. We're picking up the R-Series, and we need to go and put that onto the trailer. And then I think we're bringing it here, because tomorrow me and Sean have got a job on. Clips in there. Just literally pushes in. 
Look at that. That does look good. I like that. Looks a lot better. Right, let's go. Let's see how far we get before an engine management light comes on. So as we speak, the wheat is currently being moved out of the new truck of Tim HQ. So next time we go there, there won't be any wheat in the way. We'll have the whole place to ourselves. It's going to look bigger again. Thank you, Shredders. Woo. Well, I never knew that did that. Every day I, I wonder if anyone else knows. You have to have the red lights on, do you? Yeah. And then, then you press that little button. I showed them how to remove it. Very easy. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> I'm well, good. You, you removed it. Yeah, I removed it. I showed them how to remove it. Oh, I'd hate to think how that went. If you send your one to Richie, he'll send you another one dipped in a nice fancy pattern. Yeah. Aren't you, Richie? Yeah, we do all sorts here. We do all sorts, yeah. There we go. It's a nice little touch, isn't it? Yeah, it looks good. Inspiration for the interior of this one when it comes to it. I'll have that. You're going to dip that We're one. Dip that. And if you be quick, you could have Tim's old one dipped. Richie will tell you if it's mine or not. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's I'll, the first I'll, one. I'll just tell them they're all yours from now on. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, but if you be quick, you might have my old one. Is that on flat battery? They, mm. they dim, don't they? Turn them up, look. See? Ant's going to have fun with this tomorrow if it in cameras. So do, does, yeah, that, there you go, look. That even goes up as well. You can see that from there at the front, can't you? Look at that. Beautiful. Mm. That's dropped the S-Series off, ready for his cameras to be fitted. We've got a crane to collect from London next week. Right, let's get this R-Series. Oh, I love this interior. It's like a surprise every time I open the door. I'm going to take it around to the front of Transtech, because as you would have seen in the previous video, we had one of these to go there. It's been painted, we can fit it up there now. I knew he was going to start then. So we've got it in and it looks really good. We only had one problem. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Woo! This thing needs a charge up. So this is what we got on the driver's side and we wanted to replicate it on the passenger side. We've done that. It's symmetrical. The only thing we were missing was the middle one of these. So just put a blank in there for now. We're going to get another one of them and paint it white to go in there. And we need another blank switch here paint that white. I don't know if you remember in the previous video I mentioned about putting a white pinstripe on my rear top light board which had fitted but I've got some pinstripe in here 200 meters to be precise we probably only need four meters but we've got 200 meters we've got to fit that at some point as well. Now we've got to go and get the trailer hooked up and take that to Sean's. Right we're back at the yard with the R series now let's get the trailer onto the back of the R series. This trailer was built for this lorry. Here we go. Matching colours. We've got the trainer on. I'm actually excited for the next video where we take the fully completed R series and trailer out together for the first time properly. Everything fully complete. I'm excited. It's been raining and I don't want to drive with my shoes on. So with the R series, you can't leave your shoes on the top step because they get wet when it rains unless you put a sponge in, but I haven't done that yet. You've got to put a sponge in to block the water coming through. So I've had to put my shoes inside. It's stopped now, so they're outside. But I've had to put them here. Look, so they don't get soaked. So I'm going to have to clean that in a minute. Are you ready for tomorrow then, boy? Yeah, mate. In there? Can't wait. I'll tell you what though, Sean, she's a she's a nice combination, isn't she? She looks lovely. To be fair, I think that trailer looks better on there than it does on the S. It does, oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Got my light box thing up there. I like that. That's smart. That covers up one of the beacon brackets and all that. Yeah, it just but finishes it off. It's a bit blocky though. Need to put a white pinstripe along it. What do you think that It just needs breaking up a little bit. If you pinstripe that at the top, you then got to pinstripe your A-frame. No, you didn't. To match it. You have, it'll look rubbish. Since when have you been a truck designer? Mate, I have got some skills, I tell you. <laughs> King El Scammel Crusader, all my idea. Yeah, got, I got a trophy, got a trophy, I see. All my idea. Straight mm. out of here, out of my head. Nothing was written down on paper. Mm. We just chopped and sucked and seed. You wanted? Chopped, sucked and seed. We're ready for tomorrow. Yeah, mate. What are we collecting? Ah. Oh. We wait and see. We're waiting to see. It's going to be a day of surprises. <laughs> I'm sure it will be. Hit the subscribe button, turn on bell notification so you don't miss the next video when me and Sean go out. This will be its first time out, fully completed, interior, top light board, trailer, the whole combination, first time out. Stay tuned. Oh, God.